Hi everyone, Dr. Onita Basu here. Today I'm going to work through a multi-step problem on a solid mass calculation. So let's just start by writing it out. So we're going to calculate the kilograms of MLSS, so mixed liquor suspended solids. That is 50 meters long by 5 meters wide by 3 meters deep. And then we're given if the MLSS concentration is 26. 58 milligrams per liter. Okay, so what we're going to do is figure out if you just sometimes just take the time to look, look at the problem and see if there you can kind of like break it into steps itself or pieces of information. So when I look at this problem, what I see is first it says calculate the kilograms of MLSS. So I know that this part here tells me that what I'm looking at is a mass that I need to calculate. So that's a mass in kilograms that I'll calculate. If you can read my little kilogram sign there. Okay. And then I see that I'm given another piece of information, which is here. So when you see this kind of information, you've got a length, a width, a depth. That's going to tell you that you're going to most likely calculate a volume. And this is given. Or at least the pieces of information are given to solve that volume. You're going to have to solve that itself. And then you've got another piece of information, which is here, which I would just say given info for now. So I'm, I know I've got some number and I'm probably going to have to do something with it. Okay, so now let's look at it from the, the stepwise portion. So there's two steps when we're looking at calculating mass in a basin. The first step is step one. So we're going to calculate the basin volume. And then step two is to calculate the mass in kilograms of MLSS in the basin. In the basin. Uh, some people like to write out the steps and then solve them and then some people just like to kind of work it through all the way. It's up to you how you want to do it. I personally just like to kind of try and write out, out some of the steps that I think I need to do to help me solve some of the problems that I have in front of me because then I can like make it into smaller sections and then I can feel good about getting one section done at least before I move on to the next section. Okay, so for the step one, the volume calculation, step one, if you can read that, that says step one, so. Volume of the basin V, length times width times depth. So we've got, I'm gonna do a really bad sketch for you. Right, so we've got some kind of basin. Ooh. I'm sure everyone who watches this will be able to draw better than myself, but you'll get the idea, I hope. Right, so here's my little basin that I have. It's got some length with it, right? It's got a depth and a width. So we'll just multiply all those together.
and then plug and play those into your calculator and you've got a basin that is 750 meters cubed. Okay, so now we've got that and what we want to do, what we're trying to do is figure out how much, if you were to take that basin and you could weigh the MLSS in it, how much is that? What is that mass of MLSS in the basin? And right now we just have it as a concentration value, but not a total mass value. So step two, which we'll solve, calculate mass. in our aeration basin. So mass, the formula for calculating that mass is concentration times V. So we've got the concentration over here. We are given that. We know that in that basin itself, we've got 2658 or 2658 milligrams per liter and then we're just going to multiply it out by that whole volume that we have. So this is equal to 2658 milligrams per liter times 750 meters cubed. So now just always write out the units because you should be like, oh no. <laughs> Oh no, the units don't match. Units are different. And what I mean by that is that here this is in liters and here that's in meters cubed. And in order to multiply those together, we have to make sure that it's in the same units. Otherwise we have what's called units inconsistency and you won't get the right answer. So we just have to add in the right units. So we'll go back here and we say 26, 58 milligrams per liter times 750 meters cubed times 1000 liters per meter cubed. And just to throw it in there, the question actually says I want it in kilograms and then this is in milligrams. So we actually have to add in one more, which is that for every kilogram is 10 to the six milligrams of material. So it's like a lot of like little correction terms, you know, so these are units corrections that you need to make just to get the answer in the way that you've been asked to put it in. So once you multiply out all of those together, you should get 193.5 kilogram. So again, what that means is in this basin here is this much mixed liquor suspended solids. So this is the MLS. Okay. And that is our multi-step calculation to find solids in an aeration basin.